it was amazing. It really, it was such a joy. He's such a brilliant director, and I think anyone would be really delighted to get an opportunity to work with him. And I thought he was really great, especially for actors. He's a real actors director, yeah. and just felt so safe with him. Like he let us do whatever we thought, and I knew, like I felt comfortable enough to go as far as I wanted. And I knew if it wasn't right, he'd be there. He'd pull anything back that that wasn't meant to be there. So it was really great to feel so safe. Lenny is an amazing, amazing guy. Just uh, as a director, he's, he's, he's the actor's director. Um, he just gives so much and he's, he's open to so much input from the people that he, he, he works with and stuff mm -hmm. in terms of his cast, and that's an amazing thing. That's, you know. You know, he just was so focused on getting the most authentic shot that he would, um, you know, if a line wasn't working, if it wasn't reading, he would just say, okay, don't say that, or cut that word, or say nothing, yeah. or one word, or rip off this. So kept us on our toes, you know, we were constantly um, striving towards the, the perfect shot, so that was nice to know. He's, he's a genius, and uh, uh, he's very patient on set, and very quiet and calm, and I mean, the sign of a really, truly intelligent person is somebody who listens the most in a room, in a room full of people, he's the one who listens the most. Yeah and uh, lets you talk, and that's what I found in the workshops. Um, we, we, uh, we worked together a lot, and he was always so full of questions and, and asking us what we thought about it, and we're all pretty new at this, young actors, you know, so it was amazing to have somebody so understanding of, of, of kind of how we were going to approach it, and uh, uh, he got the, I think he got the best out of us, um, because he was just so understanding, and, uh, just a fantastic director. Fantastic. You were a fan of his previous work? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think, and it was, it was interesting seeing this today because I think I'd seen Adam and Paul just, just watch it there a couple of days ago mm -hmm. um, again, and it's a remarkable piece. And um, he, he's, able to, he's able to make a film without judgment of, of, of the people in the situation. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it's quite remarkable how, how he's able to achieve that so naturally. And the humanity of all the characters just pours out on the screen, and I find it very difficult to judge anyone in the situation. Um, I mean, there's a lot of wrongdoing in this film and in his other films, and but it's, it's never black and white. And he, he really, he really captures the the kind of decency of it. Because it was such a collaboration, it was okay to kind of to put in your input and, and not saying like you're being pushy about an idea and, and everyone work together and. And that's what I think, like, really, really made the kind of the world of the film, because um, everyone, everyone had the input, and, and that's what, what was great about Lenny. Like, he doesn't have a kind of ego where he, like, his ideas is, is the best. He kind of takes in everyone's, and then kind of it, it all mixes together to, to make the film. In the end. Sometimes you kind of be on set messing around, and you'd be like, doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo, and then uh, the crew would kind of go quiet, and you're like, <laughs> oh, they started recording all this now. <laughs> Let's just carry on. Because he was trying to get everyone just kind of acting natural. So, because uh, yeah, I guess if the camera went on and everyone was chatting away, they'd all kind of seize up and start performing or juggling or something. Mm -hmm.